a wife that just had lost her husband and, and she told the whole story about it. And, and it was a lovely presentation she made. Lovely, and it was very, very to everybody's heart about the trials and tribulations that her and her young daughter had to go through after her husband got killed in, in battle and whatever and all this stuff. And right after she made this presentation, there wasn't a dry eye in the room. And then he said, now I'd like to ask Comrade Penny Flanagan to get up and make his presentation from Canada. How in the hell do you follow that? I'm going to tell you, I was 10 minutes before I could speak. Like, so we promised him we were going to get him back, but we, uh, we decided to take him off the hook. And uh, he was pretty nervous last night when I told him this is not over yet. It gives me great pleasure to introduce you to Mr. Terry Whittles, the chairman of the Royal British Legion. Who picked it up 
and said, no, this must be preserved. So actually, it was the orderly, in a sense, that, uh, that deserves to, to break the famous. Something else that's similar, even our motto, your motto, is service before self. Our motto is service not self. Not a lot of difference, is there? We also share some of your issues, your problems. We too have a declining membership that we're trying to address. What is going wrong? Why, why do we have a declining membership? We also recognise there are a lot of changes in the needs of our veterans, our beneficiaries. Things have moved on, uh, complications have arisen that are different. How do we address their needs today that were so, so different from what they perhaps were 30, 40 years ago? But we do have some differences, and I'm not talking about the minor procedural type differences. But our differences, I think, in my view, are driven by the different laws that we must abide by. Canadian law is slightly different to UK law, and that's fine. And we've both got to go with the laws of our country. And the other major difference, I think, is one of sheer geography. I was told on arrival that Canada is just a smidgen larger than the UK. I don't believe it, so I did check it, I looked at it online, and apparently you are 41 times larger than the whole of the UK. Size isn't everything. <laughs> but I was heartened yesterday to hear your Dominion President stressing the importance of collaboration. Collaboration Actually, back in the UK is one of my key themes and I keep banging on about to my members. And what I would say is, it's not a competition. What we're here for is to do our very best for the service and the ex-service community. I try to get this across in the UK. The Legion in the UK can't do everything. Sometimes there are other organisations that can do it better. If they can do something better for one of our beneficiaries, good on them. Let's refer that beneficiary to that organisation. Don't let's just try and keep it because we are, quotes, the biggest and the best. So I reckon my five minutes are just about up now, and I've not done what I was briefed to do. My briefing was to bring greetings from the United Kingdom. And of course, I do bring greetings from the United Kingdom. I have no hesitation in doing so from all the members of the Royal British Legion. Thank you for what you do. And I look forward to working together far into the future, although not that far in my particular case. I've only got about eight months left as chairman, and then I, then I get put in a dustbin and thrown in the seat. But I will say that uh, I value working with Dave and with Brad. They are good friends, although I'm still worried about what they're going to do to me this evening because we fly, we fly home tomorrow. But I think the future uh, under Tom Irvin, I hope, will be as friendly and as useful as it has been for me uh, and Dave. So, best wishes from your 41 times smaller sister. But, and I hope you take this in the spirit of the normal inter-service banter that goes on, but I've got to say this, we might be smaller, but we're four years older. Thank you. <laughs>
Uh, we, we, uh, we meet at several conventions every year, we discuss different issues, and we go forward from there. So uh, I, uh, I'm glad you're welcome, very welcome today. And having that said, on behalf of the Royal Canadian Legion, take a little token back for, uh, and be careful when you're opening up. <laughs> I'm putting your security before we're going to